Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Friday. I'm William Galloway filling in this afternoon for Gary Harris. Alabama kicked off a busy weekend in sports today with volleyball beginning their spring season. They took on South Carolina this afternoon in Foster Auditorium. Opening match of the weekend for head coach Lindsey Devine and her squad trying to get things off on the right foot. Here's Aaliyah Wells bumping the ball to Riley Fisbeck. Fisbeck, the spike and the score for the Crimson Tide. A little bit later, it was Allie Traim getting the point for Alabama. Alabama would fight hard. They won set two, 25 to 22, but South Carolina was able to take the match three sets to one, and both teams will be back at it again tomorrow afternoon. They will begin play at 2 p.m. The Alabama men's basketball team looks to build on its 10-game win streak tomorrow in Norman, Oklahoma. The Crimson Tide will face the Sooners in the ninth annual SEC Big 12 Challenge. This will be Alabama's final non-conference game of the regular season, and it's an 11 a.m. tip-off on ESPN, a little brunch with the Tide. Alabama has been without Jordan Bruner since his injury at Kentucky earlier this month, and other guys have had to step up in his place. Nate Oates provided an update today on Bruner and said he'll be the only guy out for tomorrow's game versus Oklahoma. Yeah, they are. We're, we're, we're actually really banged up right now. I mean, Bruner's, Bruner's was still able to shoot, but he's not anywhere close to being able to play um, at this stage. So I, it's looking still like two to two to three, maybe more weeks for him. Last night in Lexington, the Alabama women's basketball team fell to number 15, Kentucky, 81 to 68. Jasmine Walker led the Crimson Tide with 27 points and 11 rebounds. That's the eighth time that Walker has eclipsed the 20 point scoring mark this season. The road stretch will continue for the women as they travel to face number three, South Carolina on Sunday at 2 p.m. And it's now official Robert Gillespie will join the Alabama football coaching staff as the running backs coach. Nick Saban announced today Gillespie comes to Tuscaloosa after three years of coaching the North Carolina running backs. He's produced 10 NFL backs during his 17 year coaching career. I'll have more on this hire coming up at six. Alabama Gymnastics is facing Kentucky right now on the road, so I'll have those highlights for you tonight at 10. That's it for sports for now. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Good evening, everyone, and happy Friday. I'm William Galloway in tonight for Gary Harris. A busy weekend for Alabama athletics began today at noon in Foster Auditorium as the volleyball team opened up their spring season. The Crimson Tide took on South Carolina, and the Gamecocks won the first set. Alabama would fight back. They would win set number two, but South Carolina prevailed, winning sets three and four to win the match. The Crimson Tide had a season-high nine blocks as a team, so that's a positive note. Both teams returned to the court to square off again tomorrow, and that match will begin at 2 p.m. Practices are complete, and the scene is set down in Mobile for the 2021 Reese's Senior Bowl. We found out that Najee Harris will not be playing in the game. Additionally, Mac Jones might not play either. His status is unclear after he injured his foot in Thursday's practice. If Mac is out, that would make him the fourth Crimson Tide player unable to go for the game. Devontae Smith and Landon Dickerson both made the trip. To Mobile, they met with NFL teams throughout the week, but they were not planning on playing due to previous injury. Thomas Fletcher, Alex Leatherwood, and Deontay Brown will play in tomorrow's game. Kickoff is at 1.30 on the NFL Network. It was officially announced today that Robert Gillespie will join the Alabama football coaching staff as the running backs coach, replacing Charles Huff. In a statement, Coach Saban said today, his excitement and he said, Gillespie is an excellent teacher, he's an outstanding recruiter, and he coaches with great passion and enthusiasm. High praise from Coach Saban. Alabama men's basketball is set to face Oklahoma tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. on ESPN in the SEC Big 12 Challenge. Oklahoma is the number 24 team in the country, and the Sooners are coming off two top 10 wins in a row. They beat number nine, Kansas, and number five, Texas. Of course, Alabama is playing really great ball right now. They're riding a 10-game win streak into this game, but head coach Nate Oates knows that tomorrow's game will be a battle. When I looked on Ken Palm, uh, in the last couple of days, this is the highest ranked team left on our schedule. So, and it's on the road. So this is a huge game, you know, for many different reasons. But, you know, our guys got to realize that. Hopefully we play better than we have the last two games. You know, I feel like 
we've shown that we know how to win close games these last two, but we haven't been particularly sharp. We're going to have to be a lot sharper against Oklahoma. The Alabama gymnastics team just wrapped up their meet at Kentucky this afternoon. The team posted a 196.775 score to defeat the Wildcats for the second time this year, and Alabama improves to 4-0 on the season. I'll have full highlights and details on that meet for you tonight at 10 p.m. Also coming up at 10, I'll have high school basketball highlights from tonight's action. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Good evening, everyone, and happy Friday. I'm William Galloway in for Gary Harris tonight. Alabama Gymnastics went up to Lexington to face Kentucky this afternoon, and the Crimson Tide came away victorious, and they remain undefeated on the season. Alabama opened their season earlier this month at home versus the Wildcats. And so what's the summary of today? A different place. But the same result, Bama posted a season best 49.425 on the uneven bars, led by Makari Doggett's career best tying score of 9.950. The Crimson Tide will be off next week before traveling to Georgia on February 12th. Some Friday night hoops action for you. The Tuscaloosa Wild County Wildcats hosting the Hoover Bucks. Both teams entered this contest with a 14 and seven record, trying to get that 15th win on the season. Devin Collins gets the ball up and in for two, but not to be outdone by Bryson Hall, who gets a basket for the Wildcats. Amon Ellington for Hoover has a breakaway dunk right here, and that was a hammer. The Wildcats had a full student section tonight cheering them on, but the Bucks were too much to handle. Final score. Hoover wins it 48 to 38 over Tuscaloosa County. The Sipsi Valley Bears faced the North Side Rams tonight. Martavius Russell is at a fantastic year. He knocks down the top of the key three. Sipsi Valley got off to an early lead. And it was a slow start, obviously, for Northside, but Ethan Smith drops in a triple to get the score a little bit closer, 25 to 14. The Bears really just dominated the evening. Another three goes in. That one is from Tyree and Smith. And then shortly after, it's Smith again involved. A pass off and a dunk right there. Wow, what a play. Just hammers that one home. The Bears take home the win, 68 to 34. Tomorrow morning, the number nine Alabama men's basketball team will face number 24 Oklahoma in Norman as part of the SEC Big 12 Challenge. The game will tip off at 11 a.m. on ESPN. Oklahoma enters this contest as one of the hottest teams in college basketball. Last week, they had two top 10 wins over number nine Kansas and number five Texas. Now, this is the last non-conference regular season game for Alabama. Keep in mind, the Tide's three losses this season are from out-of-conference games. Jawan Gary said the team has learned from those losses and they've planned accordingly in preparation for tomorrow. We looked at the first, you know, the three green games we lost. You know, we just took it as a, you know, as a teaching point. You know, some teams are going to play different, you know, playing SEC for a while now. It's the first game we're going to be out for a while, you know, playing B12. So, you know, we're just going to go out there and still play our game. We ain't going to change nothing. Still go with the game plan Coach gave us and just go out there and play our games. The Reese's Senior Bowl will take place tomorrow at 1.30 in Mobile. The game will be televised on the NFL Network. Deontay Brown, Alex Leatherwood, and Thomas Fletcher will participate. Mac Jones is down there, and his status for the game is uncertain due to a minor foot injury he suffered yesterday in practice. Devontae Smith, along with Najee Harris and Landon Dickerson, have been down there all week, but that trio will not be playing in tomorrow's game. Harris's decision is by choice, while Devontae and Dickerson are still recovering from their in-season injury. Injuries. The Alabama men's tennis team picked up two wins today at home over Tulane and Chattanooga. They improved to six and two on the year. That'll do it for sports tonight. I'm William Galloway. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this.